Have you heard of the 4% rule and how it can guide how much you can withdraw in retirement? <laughs> the 4% rule, which came from the Trinity study, is a popular guideline of how much money you can safely withdraw in your retirement. It states that you can withdraw 4% of your retirement pot whilst adjusting for inflation over the course of 30 years without running out of money. Let's take a look at the maths behind it. So let's say your retirement pot has 500,000 pounds. You can take 4% of that value. Now 4% basically means dividing it by 25, we get 20,000 pounds. That is how much we could take in our first year. But then the next year would not be the same amount because we're gonna take into account inflation. Now the Bank of England desired inflation rate is 2%. So that means if we take 2% or increase this by 2%, we're basically just adding on 400 pounds because 200 pounds is 1%. In the second year, we'll be taking up this much and then we'll keep doing this process. Now, there is a big community out there known as the FIRE community who are living as frugally as possible to retire as early as possible. Some of which are retiring as early as their late 20s, early 30s. And the way they're beating this inflation and that 30 year timeline by the Trinity study is they're aggressively investing as much money as possible into a low fee index fund, which can return them on average 7% which beats that 2% inflation, and then they have that 5% margin, which means that their pot is not going down, it is still going up in value. Now, individuals who do stick by this need to be very careful of market volatility. For example, during COVID, when the stock market plummeted, they would not have been able to take out much from their pot, and even individuals who wanted to retire that year had to delay retirement because their pension pots decreased in value. Also, they need to be uh, conscious of high inflationary environments. For example, in England very recently, inflation was above 10%, eating away at their pension pots. So what do you guys think? What are your thoughts on the 4% rule and the idea of living so frugally to then retire as early as possible? I'm gonna read your comments, noise. Yo guys, this Easter, myself and my teachers are gonna be hosting revision sessions for maths, physics, chemistry, biology, and English GCSE for super cheap. If you're interested, link in my bio.